and very welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about why you should delete your dating apps. Let's get started. Dating apps? It's, it's probably never been more difficult in modern American history anyway for a single person to find the right match. And that may seem paradoxical because it's also true that single people have never had more choices. A recent study shows that users know within a second whether or not to express interest in someone else. So what makes someone choose to make the move on a profile? Researchers say it comes down to judging the book by its cover. Well, it just comes down to the simple matter is when there's too much choice, you don't know what to pick. As for people making a decision on whether they like someone or not within a second, if you've ever worked in sales, you'll understand that a sale is made within the first four seconds. It's about catching the eye, capturing the mind, and sealing the deal. So if you go to a car dealership to buy a car and the car sales is like, oh, hello, I'm Ryan, I'm gonna sell you a car. You, you're out. You are straight up out of there. You need to be able to trust, like, get along with that person instantly or else you're not gonna do business there. The difference between car and Tinder is uh, Tinder has a different kind of business. You could be the most incredible person ever, but if your first photo is not that flattering, you're getting left swiped. That decision is made within a second. My wife has already outlined, has many wonderful qualities, but I never would have learned about those qualities if I didn't find her attractive. When you first meet someone, you aren't gonna know about their deeper, truer selves and whatever character traits, good or bad, may be lying under the surface. Those things come out in time. So that's not in itself the problem here. The problem is the sheer number of choices and how quickly the dating app user has been conditioned to swipe through them. Yes, physical attraction matters, but these days people are reduced to just a postage stamp sized picture on a phone and uh, potential matches will give them all of one second before deciding whether to relegate them to the junk folder. It, it's all, it's quite degrading. Says that the average dating site user has to swipe through 7,500 profiles before having a meaningful interaction. That's just the amount of swiping needed to even have a meaningful human interaction with a person. And worst of all, because these apps require almost no effort and no investment and no energy to use. Well, 7,500 interact uh, swipes to get one good interaction. These people are just playing Tinder and trying to win Tinder. It's a game. Like sometimes you just swipe right just to take the piss out of the other person and have a bit of fun, online bullying type thing. But as for a meaningful connection, yeah, they are very seldom. And the people who are on these apps actually looking for meaningful interactions, for relationship, for commitment, have to somehow sort through this sea of people who only want to hook up or maybe don't even want that. Maybe they want to keep swiping and have no real deep interest in human relationships at all. It's instructive that even the words boyfriend, girlfriend, and dating aren't as common as they once were. Instead of saying, you know, I'm dating this person, you'll hear people say things like, uh, well, we're talking. Yeah, I've been talking to this girl for six months. Six months? And you're, that's how you describe it? Just talking? You haven't even graduated to any kind of actual human relationship yet? There are a lot of hard people out there that don't meet, that waste time, that don't show up, blah, 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 blah. But the thing is, if you're on Tinder and you've been talking to someone for six months uh, and you haven't met them, that's for one of two reasons. Number one, the other person's wasting your time. Or number two, you're wasting your own time. You can't close the deal. Ask them out. Don't continue to get pushed back and pushed back and be an option. Either close the deal or move on. But then you've got the other side of the matter. Like you might talk to someone who's absolutely incredible. Brilliant pictures, brilliant profile. Speak to them for two months. You might think she is the most incredible girl ever and she might turn out to be a six foot overweight fat guy. <laughs> you don't know. That's the, the danger of meeting people online. It's called the catfish. You think someone's gorgeous and you meet up and all they've done is show you photos of their face because the rest of them, well. After six months of dating my wife, um, at that point I was calling her my fiance because we were engaged. Fear of commitment, uh, men who will not take the lead in their relationships, single people kind of meandering along, floating on the tide, dating for no particular reason with no end goal in mind, too afraid to even call it dating. All of these have been major problems for years. The dating apps have only as I said, made all this worse. I mean, after six months, he's calling his partner his fiance. Wonder what she was calling him. <laughs> Probably option number two. But 
when you think of Tinder itself as a dating app, and these dating apps typically are not made for dating. And then you've got the pro service where you can choose your location. We live in Lithuania, but I could put my pro service to bloody Australia and start swiping right and matching with people in Australia. Of course, I'm not going to be able to meet with these people. They're 24,000 kilometers away or whatever bullshit that is. If you want to date someone and you meet them online and they live on the other side of the globe to you. And the other thing is people lie on their apps. People lie so much. They'll lie about their name, their location, what they've done. Hell, I've even met people that lie about their age. Tinder. It's the devil's app. <laughs> it is pretty risky. I got raped seven times just trying to make friends. I met a very strange Italian guy. He was trying to kiss me and said, Oh, let's see my hotel room. For free. Oh, bravo, bravo. Of course, this service could be affected by measures introduced to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Uh, uh, wait, can we put the beauty filter? I can fix it up. Just a moment. Hey, it was, it was shit. Thank you very much for watching our video guys please put like dislike and comment below with your tinder story don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel press the notification bell and i'm gonna see you next week